Okay, array is like almost like a list where you can save information in. Um, or you can see it as a bunch of variables grouped together almost. Okay. So over here I declared an array, array names. Um, so you can in this one I said one to five, so you can save five values in this array and the data types will be string. Okay, you can have it integer, you can make it booleans, any data type was there. Um, you can change. You don't need to start with one. You can say go from two to five, then it will be able to save four um, values in this array. You can use another type like A to E. You can do something like this. A to E. But the easiest way will be to stick with the numbers okay so one to five if you want to address that specific uh, place where you can save the value or put that value in you say array names square bracket one and then close the square bracket and then you can assign a value to that first space in your array to add something in the second space you just add two, uh, three for the third space, four for the fourth space, and number five for the fifth space. Okay, um, if you want to display it, all the information in your array, you can use a for loop because you know how many names there are in your array. So you can use a for loop. So you run it from one to five and then just replace the one, two, three with i. So it will add first time is going to add the first one of your array into the reach edit then then the second one then the third one then the fourth one and then the fifth one all right let's just look at the output form was created so now all the names are saved into my array john all those names when i click on the button it's going to run through my array one by one so it's going to take the first name display it. second name display it. third name fourth and fifth name and we'll display everything in this so basically an array is like a list where you can save items in